after the inspection, we'll have the singing of the Zimbabwe National Anthem before the Guard of Honor match is passed. So during that time, I will give you a gentle reminder to remove Isikawa, say official opening in Amtlanji. Ladies and gentlemen, may we all rise as the guard of honor passes through the Glamis Arena. To the government of Zimbabwe and particularly the Excellency Excellency President Emerson Langagwa and to the Zimbabwe Agricultural Show Society for according us the honor to participate in this prestigious agricultural show which has excited for over a century and it is at its 104th 10th edition. I wish to greet the people of Zimbabwe and the Zimbabwean and Mozambican business people here present all committed to the advancement of trade and investment not only in Zimbabwe but in entire the region to which we belong, the SEDEC region and at a global level. The agriculture fair we witnessed today with a great honor and joy at its first edition in, as well, very well said here, the director, in 1895, showing a central long journey dating back before World War I. It was incepted at a time when the boundaries of our countries were defined 10 years after the Berlin Conference on the partition of Africa. It was incepted five years after the British crown ultimatum to Portugal launched by Lord Salisbury against Portugal's intentions to draw the so-called purple map that would connect Angola at the Atlantic coast to Mozambique and to the Indian Ocean. Today, we do not have a physical border, but any imaginal boundaries is a heritage of that past time. Our determination to take ownership of these resources to the benefit of our people, previously separated by artificial land, prevails. It is our intention to continue cooperating by moving freely between the two countries and producing wealth together for the welfare of our people. Our participation at this important exhibition, dear brothers and sisters, represents our intention to attract Zimbabwean investors and vice versa, as well as international investors from various sectors. With our will to mobilize investment not only in agriculture, we seek to stimulate our trade relations through allocating resources and availing infrastructural logistical facilities. Dear brothers and sisters, today's reality reflects a weak economic relationship between Mozambique and Zimbabwe. For example, from 2018 to the first half of 2024, Mozambique's exports to Zimbabwe totaled you side 890 million and imports were in the turn of your side 161 million. 
This reality gives Mozambique a largely surplus position, whose amount is less than 3% of the total volume of foreign transitions. The main products from exported to Zimbabwe were electricity, mineral of chemical fertilizer, aluminum cables, oil and petroleum products, uh, bituminous minerals, among others, in addition to logistical services. While on the import side, Mozambique acquired from Zimbabwe non-processed tobacco and its byproduct flow, corrugated paper and cardboard, insulted and conductors for electrical use, seeds, cereal-based products, among other products. With respect to Zimbabwe investment approved in Mozambique over the last 10 years, there has been a total of 46 investment projects only, cemented at U side 151 million split into industrial sector at 33%, aquaculture and fisheries at 26%, tourism at 20%, and agriculture and livestock at 12%. From the assessment of the above data, it can easily be concluded that bilateral exchanges and investment flows are far beyond the synergy potential of our countries in the face of the wide international market. This is where the concern of my brother, Dr. Emerson Langagua, lies, which is also my concern. We need to revert this situation, and one of the immediate actions is our presence at this forum to reflect on the status of trade relations. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished business people and investors, I would like to size this opportunity by choosing as a case study for my statement some reasons why Mozambique is an investment destination for Zimbabwe and for the region. First of all, the fundamentals of the economy are solid growth trajectory after COVID-19 pandemic period with the 5.1% GDP growth in 2023 and 3.2% GDP growth in the first quarter of this year. The inflation and exchange rate have evolved in a stable manner after a period characterized by tight financial issues in the face of energy crisis and uh, the initial stage of the Russia-Ukraine war. The focus for this year is partly uh, encoded to the dynamics of liquefied natural gas export which started in November 2022, in addition to the growth of in tradition, traditional sectors of agriculture, industry, and the recovery of the tourism sector to the pre-pandemic in 2019 and the 5.5% GDP growth expected. This relative stability is owing to the following. First, the, we have undertaken reform issues conducive to the uh, alleviation of red tape, bottlenecks with the development of one-stop shop for the opening of new business. Second, we have reviewed the Investment Act and the Labor Act. Third, we have introduced specific issues within the scope of foreign trade. And fourth, we have reduced VAT, Five, we have reduced the fiscal burden in the agriculture sector. Six, we have wavered entry visas to 29 countries. Six, seven, we have established a guarantee fund for loans with focus on the facilitation of access to credit by small and medium enterprises. This strength forward measures are hammered at gains in economic acceleration. This legal framework is come to strengthen protection of domestic and foreign direct investment and its enable capital and dividends repatriation, particularly those related to remuneration of invested capital. 
As a result of this mission, the country has received close to your side 2.2 billion in 2023 in terms of intentions of new investment for various sectors of the economy. Additionally, the other reason for Mozambique's attractiveness to Zimbabwe, Zimbabwean investors are related infrastructural development and wealth highlighting our ports and railways infrastructures the tenable connection to maritime roads of various countries such as Malawi, Zimbabwe, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and they are on, an alternative to the Dar es Salaam and Daban roads. It is worth mentioning that last year we were honored by President Mnangagwa's campaign after the rehabilitation of 317 kilometers of the Beira Machipanda railway line an investment totaling your side 200 million and spotted by a parallel road that was also refurbished. For this case of Zimbabwe in particular, it is also a result in the following. One, the Beira Zimbabwe pipeline associated with the port of Beira, which is critical for, for fuel supply. Two, the Limpopo railway line, which unled three 168,846 tons of cargo, both was in 2022, and a 33% increase as compared to the volume of 2021, and which is connected to the port of Maputo in factor two, three, the understanding of the Chobanin deep water sport and rail project with the principal three-party agreement is sealed by Mozambique, by presidents of Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and Botswana on 12th July of this year in Maputo. Another critical aspect where Mozambique should play a crucial role in the development process is the power generation capacity. Within this year, it will be increased by one more than 450 megawatts through the Temane Terminal Power Station, the largest power station after independence, and in the medium, the Mpandankua, with 1,500 megawatts under power station. Power associated the mobility facilities in ports and railway corridors, and in the face of proven and potential reserves of critical minerals uh, that the two countries possess, post, a, pot a potential for joint industry processing, enabling economies of scale and uh, bargaining capacity. This fact should leverage the position of the two countries in value chain of battery manufacturing. After this reference to the conditions in infrastructures and the business environment, I would like to briefly list the sector investment opportunity that Mozambique presents. The agriculture sector occupies a central place in our production and Mozambique has immense reserves of soil and subsoil resources with emphasis on 35 million hectares of arable land and water availability. These regions are characterized by excellent agroclimatic conditions and they are located near the border with Zimbabwe. The main crops produced for export and the local consumption include, among other, sugar, cotton, tea, tobacco, occasional citrus, fruits, macadamia, bananas, citrus, fruits, beans, soya beans, sesame, maize, copra, mango, pineapple, vegetables, leech, peanuts, and the papaya. Investment may include both inland water fishing and natural fishing from the sea. In terms of the extractive sector, Mozambique has proven reserves of over 200 trillion cubic feet of natural gas, graphite, rubies, if mineral sands, among others, which provides investment opportunities in the processing of fertilizer, gas for domestic consumption, zirconia, paints, batteries, which Malawi, which, 
Malawi will need and Zimbabwe already produces among other products. With regard to tourism, the potential combines the opportunity of coastal tourism, hunting and inland tourism based on the inland and the extensive coast along with the fauna and flora and the immense historical and cultural heritage. The industrial potential is based on the possibility of transforming the natural resources and agri-products and the livestock and the extractive industry, a fact provided by the availability of energy and the transport infrastructures as well as by the demographic dividend that translated the population and aptitude for the productive sector. For all those reasons, it is our expectation that this fair will serve as a platform to promote our opportunities for cooperation and exchange in the area of various sectors listed here. An example is the knowledge accumulated in research of wheat variants whose production in Zimbabwe is reality. I would not like to conclude my speech without acknowledging, uh, acknowledging and saluting your great vision and the efforts of your government despite the illegal and the unjust uh, sanctions imposed on Zimbabwe. Today, Zimbabwe is a country that lies Today, Zimbabwe is the country that rises from adversities and growth above many countries that live without deprivation. It is economic growth is partly the result of the dedication of our people and your visionary leadership with a higher sense of resilience. Zimbabwe turns limitation into opportunity for his development, economic growth, infrastructures gradually become food, food sufficient. Congratulations Zimbabwe people and the congratulations Dr. Nangagwa, President of Republic of Zimbabwe. My dear brother, is this Hans Dr. Emerson Dambuzo Manangabu, President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, ladies and gentlemen. On October 9th, my country will elect the President of the Republic, members of Parliament, the provincial governors, and members of the provincial assemblies. Myself, I will not run. It is at this moment I want on behalf of myself and my family to express my deep gratitude to the people of Zimbabwe, your government, Mr. President, and to you, my dear brother, for the affection and the support provided to me over the last 10 years that I have served the Mozambique people. I also went, I also went to thank the support of the people and the government of Zimbabwe in fight against terrorism in the northern part of Cabo Delegado through direct contribution and in the training of special forces in Mozambique. It has been a privilege to work tirelessly with you, Mr. President, to keep alive the tradition relations of brotherhood between the Mozambican and the Zimbabwean people. I am proud of what we have achieved together. I am confident, I am confident uh, that Mr. President, you will continue to guide the relations between Zimbabwe and Mozambique towards to the progress of both countries. I ask all Zimbabweans and the Mozambicans to maintain the mark of our good relations and our country's old commitment to building prosperity together for our people, peoples, and for our Sadiq region. In my last communication to the Mozambican nation through the National Assembly without triumphalist feeling, I started that Mozambique is growing economically and the nation is moving resiliently towards sustainable development. This is 
my belief and I have faith that it will be so. Finally, we invite all entrepreneurs attending this show to use this opportunity and as a unique platform for identifying attractive and viable business opportunities. For me personally, the present moment serves to express my sense of accomplishment in the consolidation of our relations and to thank all the collaboration and the cooperation with my brother. President Manangaba, who together we have faced many battles with the certainty of bringing the best result to our countries, to the Sadek region, and especially to for well-being of our compatriots. Our common story allows to us to say loudly, the fight against poverty continues. A luta contra pobreza continua. Because the challenges remain all they take other forms these days. Thank you very much for your attention. Keep well, Zimbabwe. Thank you.